certainly domestic violence is one of the most dangerous calls that officers will have to respond to. Well, anytime you respond to a domestic violence calls, uh, as you can well imagine, uh, domestic violence usually going to re- evolve, uh, involve a great deal of emotion. And there's a great deal of emotions that are involved where people have a range of feelings that's going on, oftentimes around anger. And from the time that call was called in, officers responded, a lot can change. And by the time officers get to the scene and attempt to try to de-escalate a situation, it may already be well beyond uh, anything that can be done. And certainly domestic violence calls that involve those kinds of emotions, and you have officers that come on the scene, uh, sometimes they do escalate. And it puts everybody in a very dangerous and precarious situation. Now, officers are trained, of course, uh, in de-escalation techniques, but we also have to be realistic to know that there are going to be times when people are not going to comply uh, because of their anger and what may be going on that led them to be in this place. If you have friends and family members who may be on the scene, it may further exacerbate those types of events, and officers are doing the very best that they can, but we also know based on the data and the statistics that officers can be hurt, injured, uh, and killed, uh, as we certainly have seen here in recent days in Metro Atlanta. We always try to train officers in domestic violence type of situations always to have awareness of their surrounding, always being aware who comes in and out of that uh, scene, particularly if it's out on the street or whether it's within a closed quarter, such as a living room, a bedroom, or where it may happen to be. But here again, uh, these type of events can can escalate very easily. And you also have to remember, when officers are given an address to respond to a scene, they're given initial information. But that scene is continually to change as officers are en route. People could be inside a house. Officers come to the door taking all precautions that they can, but we don't know what's on the other side of that door. And we've seen too many times as well, uh, those types of situations where gunfire has come from inside the house to outside the house and have struck, injured, and killed police officers. The very unpredictable and dangerous types of scenarios and some that are unimaginable that can certainly occur within a matter of seconds. Here's what I would say to the public you call officers to the scene where there's a domestic violence is you as a, as, as, as a uh, member of that household or that environment is to try to work as closely and calmly as you can with officers so this is brought to a resolve. If I have a body camera and Officer Alexander goes to that scene and I employ those uh, de-escalation skills uh, it is very important that from time to time supervisors take a look at that video and tell me here's what you did well, Alexander, on this uh, case where you use your de-escalation training and here's places where you can do better. So it reinforces that training. The most important thing is the awareness of it because it's not just a police problem, it is a community problem and police and community are going to have to work together 